Hey, how's it going? This is Jess, aka DJ Play Play. Uh, I'm with Building Beats. Uh, Building Beats is a nonprofit organization that aims to provide music education for all. We can be found at buildingbeats.org or at Building Beats on all social media platforms. Uh, so today I'm going to get into how to make a melody in Soundtrap. So let's enter studio and hit music. We're going to go to add a new track. And this time we can put keys. There's two ways to get to this again. So keys, we can do like piano, lots of diff different melody makers, um, or we can do a synth. Um, so what I'm gonna do is we can also select play the synth here. Uh, we can also add a new track over here. Um, let's start off with something simple. We're gonna go to keys. We're gonna go to good old fashioned grand piano, all right? And so your computer keyboard actually corresponds with these keys. So if I hit B on my computer keyboard, cool, it's gonna play this note right here. Similarly, if I press the Q button on my computer keyboard, it's gonna play the key of E. So when you hold it down, you can see what key is for those who no music theory. You don't really need to be able to read music to use this keyboard, but if you already know which keys correspond, you can do it over here as well. All right. You can also switch the octave over here to make it lower or higher. So let's switch it down one. Down one more. Okay. And we're going to go up a few. Okay, cool. And you can see the octaves over here too. So C3, C4, C5 much higher in pitch right here. All right, so now we can kind of start experimenting with what we wanna play. No pressure to record yet, but. All right, cool. So if I wanna record that, I need some kind of rhythm, right? So maybe I already have a beat, but in this case I don't, then the metronome is my best friend. So I'm gonna turn that on, set it to clave, Set my tempo. We'll keep it at 120 for right now. Um, and I'm also going to loop it. Let's loop to four bars. Okay. And I'm going to activate this loop right here. And now I've kind of got it counting in for me so I can. So now I'm going to hit record. Okay, cool. So that's what I've got. I'm going to X out of this now. And now I'm going to hit edit and it's going to edit. I'm just going to take me right to this piano roll right here. Uh, it's the same piano roll you see when you're in the Patterns B Maker, um, but it's really handy for when you're trying to make a melody. It's going to automatically give you this annoying little pencil where you can draw things. Maybe it's not annoying to you, but for me, um, I would rather have this little arrow. So I'm going to click this, and now I can move this around. I just want to make it right on the beat. So drag these over here. Also, if you want to add another note, you can just add it. See what that sounds like. Yeah, there we go. I like that. All right. So can also kind of see the key in here, which is cool. All right. So then you can also add, you can switch your instrument, which now I'm going to do. So with this melody, you can change to all kinds of things. So I'm going to go over to synth actually. Um, and with this melody, I'm going to change it to, let's do pads. Let's see what that sounds like. Yeah, 
Yeah, it sounds pretty 80s. Let's try this one. Cool. So now you can do all kinds of things. Um, great. So maybe you want to add a little variation. Uh, I'm going to copy this and paste it over here, extend this. And now what I'm going to do over here is just adjust the, not the notes, but the octave. Go into the edit notes and then lasso all of them again, kind of like this little wraparound thing. And actually I want to do it to just this one right here. There we go. So it's just this second four bars and I'm just going to go up. There we go. Let's get C sharp. So I'm just going to go like that. Yeah. There we go. Uh, so you can play around with that too. Awesome. All right. And so now I've imported this melody into a beat um, and I've changed the pads to milky pad. I thought it sounded better. And I added a bunch of reverb, um, which is basically creating space and ambiance atmosphere uh, into the track. So let's hear it. That sounds pretty good. You can keep layering different melody makers onto this um, and keep going. Thanks so much. Um, if you enjoyed what you heard today, please hit the follow button, like, and subscribe on all channels. Appreciate it. And yeah, see you soon.